Hey, what up y'all, Nurse David here, and today I am talking about the capstone, the final course in the BSM program at Grand Canyon University. Now it's been quite a minute since I have gone through the BSM program myself because I just finished my MSM program at Grand Canyon University as well. But this is a class that I get asked about very frequently and there's quite a bit that's different about this class in comparison to the other other BSN courses. So I'm going to get into that and much more. Now before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I can't believe that we have reached over 5,000 subscribers. That's crazy to think about. I've only been going steady on this channel for probably a little over a year now and the growth has been amazing. So if there's any videos you want to see though, comment them down below because this is actually one that was requested the other day and I thought that we should touch on it because it's been quite a while. Now the capstone class, you're so close to finishing your bachelor's program, but this course is a tad bit different than the other courses that are in this program. And the one major thing that's different about that is that you have to find like a preceptor, a mentor, and this has to be established before you start the class. So generally your nursing advisor at Grand Canyon University will be reaching out to you and trying to coordinate who do you know that has a higher title than you and in my case it had to be someone with at least a bachelor's and they had to be in a position that was higher so I had my friend Kristen be my mentor because she had her bachelor's and she is my charge nurse and like I said this is something that needs to be established before you start the class now once you choose a mentor you need to retrieve their uh, nursing license number which you can get online and you need to take a screenshot of that and you'll also need their contact information as well as their resume you'll turn all this stuff in to your nursing advisor and they'll get it all situated and get it partnered through the hospital or facility that your mentor is at and and then you should be good to go. Now discussion questions and posts. In this class, they're similar to the previous classes. You'll have two discussion questions a week with six responses throughout the whole week. Two responses on three different days. So that really didn't change at all. At the beginning of the capstone, they give you a lot of information and it's a lot to take in, but they give you information on tasks that you'll need to complete by yourself throughout the whole class and submit at the very end. So you may want to put that stuff off, but I highly recommend that you don't because one thing that I did was put off my journal writing because once a week I had to write a journal of what me and my preceptor mentor discussed. So I put that off to the very end and I ended up having to write 10 weeks worth of journal entries and that was not fun. Another thing you want to take into consideration is how will you be documenting the hours that you spend with your preceptor. Just make sure you have a steady log of how you do it and really at the end of each week you just need your mentor slash preceptor to sign off on it to say that you completed these hours and let's get into the hours a little bit more. Now a key difference in your clinicals in your BSN versus your clinical hours in your associates program is that in your associates, your ADN, you complete your clinical hours at the bedside shadowing the nurse. My clinical hours with Kristen, who was my mentor, we spent them more just collaborating. So I didn't shadow her really at all. It just focused on phone calls, texts, when I was pitching ideas to her. So it wasn't physical hours that I was spending shadowing her or sitting with her because that could be a little hard to do, but it was mostly collaborating on my project together. And a little tip, I always round it up. So if I spent 45 minutes talking to her about my project, I round it up to the hour on what I would submit for my clinical hours. And lastly, let's go ahead and get into the project. So I had to do a project on my unit with my mentor, something that I was working on. I had to do a major project for my papers, something that I submitted each week and built up all together in the end. But my project with my mentor for my unit was, I was pretty involved at this time in trying to design what the flow of a nursing assistant was, just because I was a nursing assistant for three years. So that was kind of my main thing. I went to a couple meetings of the nursing assistant meetings on my unit and really tried to like create a format, a layout of what was expected from their role. 
But then for my papers, it was completely different. I mostly just focused on CAUTIs, uh, catheter associated UTIs, just because there was a lot of data on that and I knew I'd have to be have to be writing a bunch and need scholarly articles so definitely choose a topic that there's a lot of information even if it's not that groundbreaking i hope i answered all your questions this is just my experience at grand canyon university it was a little while ago but i am pretty familiar with grand canyon university because i just graduated with my masters if you have any other questions though or video recommendations leave them in the comments down below make sure you check out one of my other nursing related videos right here and i'll talk to you guys later thanks bye